VControl Pro provides powerful control of Ableton Live. This video shows how to use Pro Control, Control 24, and C24 surfaces for incredible mix control. All feature analog control room monitoring for stereo and surround. They provide multiple input sources, alt speaker selects, headphones, and talkback. Control 24 and C24 feature 16 mic preamps and line inputs with gain control, clip lights, and high pass filters. Detailed setup instructions can be seen at the end of this video showing how to add Mackie Control and XT devices and connect to VControl Pro's fast virtual MIDI ports. VControl Pro gives you touch sensitive faders with 0.1 dB resolution and a row of knobs for quickly controlling pans, sends, instruments, plugins, and more. Using the display mode button, VControl Pro lets you focus the surface between Live's two mixer sections, the tracks on the left and the returns on the right. For Control 24, use the Apply to All Channels button. You can navigate the surface channel strips across unlimited tracks and returns in your project by banking 24 channels or nudging by one. VControl Pro lets your fader surface work alongside other controllers for triggering scenes and clips. If you don't have a separate controller, VControl Pro also lets you trigger scenes and clips with your fader surface for deep integration with Live. Press the Masters button to use the rightmost fader to adjust the master volume. VControl Pro provides powerful control of track and return sends. To adjust sends, tap a button on a channel strip. The surface displays the name of the send buses and the send levels. Flip mode lets you use the faders to adjust send levels. VControl Pro provides incredible instrument and plug-in control. Tap the Insert button on a channel strip, then select an instrument or plug-in to edit. Now you can adjust 24 parameters simultaneously. Flip mode lets you use the faders to adjust the instrument or plug-in parameters. VControl Pro's touch-sensitive control lets you automate any parameter at any time. Just tap the record button and Ableton Live will punch in the automation when you adjust the parameter. The transport section gives you fast control of playback, recording, and navigation through your project session and arrangement. You can switch between session and arrangement views with the mix and edit buttons, and you can show and hide the browser view and device view. You can use the wheel or up and down buttons to select a scene and then trigger it. With the up, down, left, right buttons, you can select a clip and trigger it. And you can stop the session playback. You can use the wheel and left, right buttons to move through the arrangement. Use Navigate Mode to use the left-right buttons to move left and right to existing markers. Use the Down button to add markers. Use Zoom Mode to zoom in and out of the arrangement. VControl Pro lets you assign 16 live commands to surface buttons to accelerate your workflow. For C24, use Soft Keys Mode. For Pro Control, use the Matrix buttons. For Control 24, use the Function buttons. To assign a command, enter Note Command Assign Mode, select a control, press the key on the surface to assign it. VControl Pro connects many utility functions to Ableton Live so you can work fast and easy. Loop, punch in and out, undo, redo, enter, cancel, and save. To reset a knob to its default value, hold the default button and tap the button below the knob. To set up Ableton with VControl Pro, first add your Ethernet surface to VControl Pro. In the Setups window, click Add New and select Ethernet Device. After it locates your device, select it and click OK. Then to set up Live, open Preferences and select MIDI. Now add one Mackie Control and additional Mackie Control XT devices, one for each set of eight faders. Now make sure each one is set to a different VControl virtual MIDI port. For more information on controlling Ableton Live with VControl Pro, please visit nyrink.com.